Hey folks, quick update here on Tuesday morning. I've just wrapped up about an hour and a half's worth of work. and I've actually made some pretty good progress for that time, so I wanted to get you caught up. The first and probably most important change I made this morning was the ability for the player to attack in any direction. You can see that as I click around the player in 360 degrees, this little kind of swipe projectile is always going to be facing where the mouse is pointing. Even better news than that, I was really worried that in order to make that look good, I would have to create four more player animations for the diagonal directions. I'm really happy that this seems to look just fine even with my initial up, down, left, right swing animation. So this was a big win this morning. With that change made, I wanted to tweak and fix just a few more small things. The first of which is obviously the knockback issue that we saw before, but the second was the ability to swing this weapon more quickly. And this was an easy fix. It really just amounted to decreasing a cooldown timer in between these swings. So if I aggro this little crab over here and start to give him a few hits with the weapon here, you can already see that between the knockback and the faster swinging, it's still very basic combat, but it's already much snappier. And finally, as you might have noticed already, our corrupted organisms now have the notion of a kind of corruption health bar that appears when their corruption level changes. You saw this just appear when those crabs transferred corruption between each other, but that'll also stay active and start to disappear once I engage in combat and remove that corruption. This will be followed up shortly with some accompanying damage values as well, just to make it a little more clear to the player what they're doing in combat. Looking ahead to tonight or tomorrow morning, I think my next task is gonna be cleaning up this player attack state. Things are working pretty well here, but as you can see from these various attributes within this state, a lot of things like the lunge force and the attack animation duration these are part of the attack state right now, but I really want these to be associated with individual weapons so that some weapons let you lunge further, attack faster or slower. And really I have to kind of set up a foundation for probably a weapon data resource that will allow me to create these different weapons with different behaviors. That'll do it for now. I am back off to work, so we'll catch up soon.